Le lapin veut de la salade. Il m'a faim. I must say, Ronnie, this was very clever of you. Very clever indeed. Thank you, sir. I expect that if you could only break yourself of a certain insufferable pig-headedness, you might... Where's your mother? That wasn't her mother. That was her aunt. Well, then, where's her aunt? Good heavens, did we leave her behind? What is this? Why are you goggling at each other like that? Don't look at the papier. There's a very funny business here. That's her father. He's a waiter. Well, what possible interest could his address... So that's it. But they haven't any home. The Germans write it down. They haven't any place to go, don't you see? Come one, come all, eh? Oh, please, Mr. Hart, I didn't mean it that way. I told Madame she should speak to you, but she was so scared. Open the floodgates, let them all in, eh? But you wouldn't want them to be caught by the Germans, would you, sir? That's not the point, sir. You promise to pass your convitant, huh? Oui. I like her. You see, sir? She can take care of Sheila, and I can take care of her. Then you won't have the bother. All very neatly arranged, eh? Possibly I have something to say on the subject. Does that make it clear? You understand, my child, I have nothing whatever against you personally. It's simply that I do not propose to be imposed upon. She doesn't understand what you're saying, you know. Well, then perhaps you will. Not to keep you in the dark about it, I do not like children, particularly you. Yes, sir. Now do I propose to become the Mecca for every unfortunate child in France? Yes, sir. When we get to Chartres, I shall turn her over to the authorities. Leave it to them to get her back to her land. Yes, sir. That's the only intelligent way to deal with such situations. There's no use crying. Tears are lost on them. Eat your chocolate. Hotel? The Dickens Hotel, sir. Have I heard of it in my life? So, looks like clean water. <laughs> Let me paddle while we eat, Mr. Howard. If you wish. Could have got some fresh milk, I suppose. Oh, I don't like milk. Neither do I, but it puts calcium in the teeth, I believe, some such rot. Or is that spinach? Oh, spinach. Oh, I don't like spinach either. Cross that. Oh, all that muck. Calcium, spinach, vitamin this, vitamin that. Pure nonsense. Jump on up here. Where? Well, sit down. Eat your lunch. They're coming down. No, no. They can't. That's impossible. Ha, <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I fell. They were shooting at us. Well, not at us in particular. Now, now. It was all quite over. I wasn't scared, was I? Was I? No, no, nobody was scared. Rose simply didn't like the noise. Now, you wait here. I'll run up and see if I can't find our bags. Exactly the Savoy. Perhaps you'd better close the door. Blackout, you know. Yes, sir. Ooh, ça va être amusant. Are you with us now? He can't talk. Who is he? His name is Pierre. How did you learn that? He told us. But he can't talk? No, sir. But he told you? Yes, sir. May I speak to you privately, sir? By all means. Didn't you see him? No. The dead people were his mother and father. I see. He can't speak, and I don't think he can hear either. Come here, lad. Shoes and stockings. Nothing else, any of you. In très gentil, to say. Oui, très gentil. Bouge pas. 